What up everybody, it's your girl July from Kickback Couture. Today I'm gonna show you how I set up these lights in my rack. Now it is created by Omino and it is an instrument called WBL3001. I will have the link in the description. In order for it to work, you have to feed it MIDI. So I'm playing and now you see my three note chords or my triads, they're showing up. But I don't want to have to play it in order for it to work like these other ones are working without me doing anything i do have my sequencer going though playing so if i hit stop then the lights stop now when i hit play they go that's what i mean by that so if i let's just create a matrix because i don't i don't want to show you the long way the way that it took me to learn how to figure it out yet I'll show you the more efficient way first. So actually utilities, let's create a matrix. And we'll, you know, put in some random notes. Let's go ahead and we have the gate in going there already. So now when I hit play, my lights are gonna do things on their own, right? And that's what we want. So I'm gonna create something really quick just so that we can all see this better in the middle of the rack go with this it has nothing to do with what we're doing right now okay so all we're looking at is this and this this is just a space creator okay ignore that completely now the different combinations are listed on the back so first contact that is the type of lighting display we're looking at right now the next one is scrolling staff that means this one is going to be up while these ones remain down all right now the next one is big lamp that means the middle one is going to be up while one and three are down and that's what this one's set to the next one is gonna be like this that says six string i don't have my glasses i don't know where i put them and then this, these bottom four, you see they turn yellow. That means you need to feed it audio. So let's create a piano, something quick, ID8. And let's put a mini clip onto the sequencer lane. We have to feed it audio, so we're gonna send audio to it. And we need to send this to this one, not that one. All right, and now, Keep in mind, this is the Drenched in Design MIDI kit. If you would like to grab it, you can. Now, rather than send it MIDI, we're going to send it the audio. Let's actually keep that there. We're going to send the parallel audio to the audio in. And now we're going to drop that one down, zero, zero. Drop that one up. And now we get the first one, which is audio wave. The next one is audio blip. And then we have audio spectrum. Really interesting combinations you can get. The last one is audio spin. My least favorite. But I'm sure it's useful for something. Now over here we have a color knob. So you can change the colors. Rose, let's actually switch this to big lamp. I'm gonna put the matrix MIDI back into this. And big lamp will be like this. And the color can be changed in tons of ways. We have scan rate, which will make it change faster. Based on the MIDI that's playing, of course. Wave sync and CPU mixer. I never use those. And you also have um, audio through which allows you to just send audio through so 
if I wanted to do that, then audio through. Now, those are the most important uh, functions of WBL. If you would like to experiment with audio in, audio through, and then the wave sync and CPU mixer, then you'll be going further than I have. Uh, I don't, I haven't used those for anything. So if you know what they are, definitely feel free to let everyone know in the, you know, down below, we all help each other. And we all learn from each other. So I'm working on my release schedule. I would like to do it every day, but I'm not sure if that's too much. So would you watch a video for me every day? Let me know. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up even every other day. Let me know how often you would like to see videos and tutorials by me.